On behalf of International Islamic Education Center Canada, I would like to welcome you, a very warm welcome for your audience here today. Before I ask, I request Honorable Brother Muhammad Sheikh to come on the rostrum and deliver his talk on topic entitled What Al Quran, the reading, says about Al Kitab, the book. I would like to take a few moments of your time to briefly take you through the journey of Brother Muhammad Sheikh since his. Uh, professional career way back in his um, young life. And his unwavering commitment to Allah's cause, he has delivered lectures traveling around the world in the United States, in the United Kingdom, in Pakistan, in UK, previously in Dubai, and now again he's visiting us and gracing, his, gracing us with his presence. He has delivered over 60 lectures on different topics, not including numerous debates and religious discussions with different people of different walks of life and religious backgrounds. Now coming to the format of this lecture, we have made sure each and every one of you has this booklet. If, this, if you open this booklet, you will see the ayat, from the Quran in Arabic text along with their references, the chapter and the ayah are written on the right hand side and on the left side the corresponding page or right in addition to it you'll find its English translation. The ayah are placed in this booklet in a chronological order and this is the sequence Brother Roma Sheikh will be following unless and until he decides to change it otherwise. During this lecture, if you find anything concerning and you feel the need to ask a question, please wait till the end of this lecture because you will be given an ample opportunity to ask your questions which will be addressed and the format of that question and answer session I will present to you at a later time. You have the pencils, you have the paper, please write down your concerns, your questions so that you don't, don't forget them towards the end. Now without further ado, it is with great honor and privilege I would request Brother Muhammad Sheikh to please come to the dice, the rostrum, and enlighten us with what Al Quran, the reading, says about Al Kitab, the book. Brother Muhammad Sheikh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Peace and blessing of Allah to all of you, ladies and gentlemen, welcome. A'udhu billahi min shaytan rajeem I seek refuge with Allah from the shaitan, the stone. Bismillah ar-Rahman rahim In the name of Allah, most gracious, most merciful. The topic is what Al Quran says about Al Kitab, the book of Allah. Kitabullah, the book of Allah. Most of you in the audience, you'll be hearing the verses that I've compiled in that booklet based on the word Al Kitab. The book and the Quran, mostly the ayahs we are referred in the booklet is the book. Now, when I say the book, it means the written one, the writing. Katib, the one who writes. Kataba, 
he writes kitab written one and al quran means the reading iqra read iqra means read quran means reading so when i say what the quran says means what the reading says the book of allah of the book of allah of the written of allah what allah wrote in this book quran so this you must understand the quran means the reading and the book means al kitab so what is written down in front of us if you have got the booklet are the ayahs when i speak and read is the quran when i'm reading the book i ask when i'm reading the ayahs from the book is the quran the reading that is what you are going to hear so by this we will understand what is the book of allah only from the quranic references related to the word al kitab the book before i speak about now the reading of the quran by of the book of allah i'll try to give you a few understanding of the bible bible is the word greek word which comes from the word biblos meaning library of books it is supposed to be the book of god as per the christian and the jews so the jews and the christian if you open the page one you will find there are books of the jews and christian that is referred as old testament and new testament the old testament contains 46 books of the dewey and 39 books of the king james version and new testament contains 27 books in other words when i say books in a book bible in a book bible the books are contained that are referred in our language chapters so that book bible contains books that is of 46 books of the dewey version and 39 books of the king james version but the new testament contains 27 books and as put together is known as the bible as the bible so now when i say bible people generally think it's a book of god so in the in the bible according to the new testament gospel according to mark gospel according to matthew and gospel according to john and luke they say that jesus peace be upon him preached the gospel that is what is written in the uh, new testament in gospel writings and in the first five books that in the old testament that is referred as genesis exodus leviticus numbers and deuteronomy these first five books of the old testament they are referred as torah the hebrew word torah so bible in old testament is written in aramaic in hebrew and the new testament is written in only greek strict language which is almost that language both of these languages so they are translating into english and other language of the world that is the status of the bible in the current times why i refer to a few words about bible because that is also a book and is is supposed to be the book of god supposed to be a book of god mutilated that's what the concept is 